guys so welcome back to my channel today and we are playing the sims 4 mendoza legacy challenge so today we are going to have a fun day because we get to invite over our new neighbors that we just met the other last part but i have a little bit of an update to tell you guys so <laughs> let me tell you so what happened was that the family that was there is no longer there because i don't know what happened to my game but somehow it kind of deleted the save file that I had or whatever it happened. So I had to replace the family and replace the house because it was an old house that I did not like. So I replaced it and got a new one and I got a new family. And honestly, they are the most coolest family I've ever met in my entire life. So I thought, you know what? It's a Thursday night. We can invite them over, have a little funsies and it'd be the perfect time to just kind of get to know them a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and actually plan, let's see, plan, ooh, wrong person, Gavin. Ooh, ooh, wait, Sebastian. I heard it's a nice night. It's a nice night at the bar. You want to check it out? No, Sebastian, leave me alone. We'll invite you over too. Cause well, you know what? You can invite over your whole family. Oh yeah. So Sebastian actually had um his kids today. So well, Rebecca did. Cause yeah, uh, now Sebastian is a father of four. <laughs> Lord my goodness. So we have Robin Mendoza. We have yeah Robin Ray. Then we have Alea Mendoza, and then Pelham. So that is pretty pretty cool. So he has they have four grandkids. Sebastian a, is a father of four. Wow, like tell me that's not stressed like right there. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great, right? I, I like, I really do love how it kind of goes hand in hand. And Alea is actually, like I kind of just randomly genetically um, randomized the name and that's that's the first thing that came up. And that reminds me of um, Jessica, 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 Jessica 92's um, uh, daughter's name that she's gonna have soon, which is pretty cool. So I thought, you know what? Let me just choose that name because um, Soon they'll be twins one day. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I think that's a, an awesome, awesome name, and it's pretty cool. So, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and actually plan a social event at our house because I really do want to like start like a house party, have some din din with our fam bams, 9 p.m. So call everyone up. And Gavin, we also got also got a promotion in his career. So he's level four in his in the social media career right now. So he's a actual public relations coordinator. Next time he will be a community manager. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and actually do a house party at our house. The hosts will be, so I'll have two hosts. Why not? So I'm gonna have Chandler, Olivia. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, the new neighbor is Frank and um, we're going back over Rebecca, Sebastian, Robin. Maybe not Robin. I don't know about Robin. Robin's a little bit iffy. Hmm. Should I invite over Robin? Oh, we don't know everyone though. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, I mean, we can we can invite them over by phone. Just be easy enough for us. So we'll invite over them too. They can and they just can take the kids to daycare. It'll be easy enough for them. So Frank is one of them. So we'll invite over them. The entertainer, we don't need one. Kidder, don't need one. So it will be at our house. One day we'll have a big giant mansion. So the social event is starting. And then I think we can go ahead and invite over. I think she knows them. Hopefully she does. So, oh, I don't think she does. So Frank, oh, Leroy. Well, no, Leroy. So we'll invite over him. So we'll invite over to a certain lot. And then the kids can actually invite over their friends, which is actually two twins. So we met Jared and the other one is Shelly. So we'll invite over Jared right now. And then we'll have Olivia invite over Shelly. So that, I think that's a cool time. Well, no, Chandler invite over Shelly. That's right. So I thought, you know what, get to know them a little better, have a house party, it'd be really, really great. So everyone will should be here rather soon. So I think, Gavin, let's have you go and go downstairs. I think we should invite over, we should get some pizza, probably, or you know what, no, I think it's a good time to use our actual grill right here. So we're going to go ahead and grill up some nice, I don't know, one of them might be a vegetarian, so I'm not really sure. So I might go ahead and actually get the breakfast scrambled one. I don't know, because some of them might be vegetarians. Can't really sure to be steak tofu dogs. I'll get tofu dogs, because, like, why not? They'll be able to eat some stuff that they need to eat. Who are you? Oh, it's, look, it's Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hey, Sebastian, how's it going? Let's have you go and, and stop doing that. We're going to invite over all of our all of our um, friends and stuff like over here to go ahead and turn. No, Olivia, you can go and start the move right now. Can you say that? No, you can't. So we'll have watch movie. We'll watch Moonlight Massacre 3. 
why not? And then for you, Meadow, let's have you go ahead and pop some nice, lovely buttered popcorn. And then we'll craft some ice cream as well, just for some fun times. Because I haven't really used the ice cream machine for a while. And I thought it'd be kind of a good thing to go ahead and make some mental unheaval. So that'd be kind of good for us. 42 simoleons sounds good to me. So Leroy will be right over. Great. And look at her in her, her nice little outfit here. Her outfit looks rather nice, might I say. Pours her little corn stuff, her uh, um, seeds things into the into the thing. Great there. And when she gets that pop in, it's going to be great. Craft some ice cream. Use 42 simoleons. Chandler. Oh, look. Here's Shelly. Here's, yeah, this Shelly. And then here is Frank Cage. And I think um his friend... Is somewhere oh yeah he's right here so we're gonna go ahead and actually invite him in and get to know him as well so let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction that's a little bit weird that's a little bit weird too floating things in the air doesn't sound always good so I'm not really sure we can invite everyone outside so there is actually Jared Gavin let's see let's in, let's try and actually invite everyone to the outside so you're gonna invite over Jared good Olivia let's go and see if we can call her over I don't think we can, so we're going to just go ahead and talk to her for a little bit. Just a, just a tad bit to get to know her father or her, not only her stepfather. She's too far away to call over. Great. This sim is too far to, too far to call over. Are you serious? Look, she's right there. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. But anyway. Oh my goodness. Well, I walked on into the wrong thing. See this? See guys, you should never go camping. Camping is dangerous. For all you know, there could be a mass murderer and like a mass rabbit murderer in the woods trying to chase you down with an axe. Like, no one wants that. I don't even want that. So Meta Rose has finished cr creating a cr a Creighton of mental upheaval. The carton has been added to her inventory. Oh, carton, not Creighton. I don't know what I'm talking about today. So I think we can actually place this right here. We're going to place it right. Yeah, we're going to place it right there. I want to go ahead and actually grab, let's, ooh, let's go do some, set some garnishes. I'm going to actually do some sprinkles, and then I want to do the toppings for a raspberry sauce. That sounds rather tasty, even though I'm lactose intolerant, though. We're going to go ahead and grab a bowl of some ice cream today. It's right there. Man, do I have to place another table? Let's see, can she actually grab this now? Grab a bowl. Can you grab a bowl from this one? Oh, she can't. Okay, you know I'm just going to place it right there. Seems easy enough for me. So she grabbed the bowl. They grabbed a bowl of some popcorn. Let's go ahead and turn on the movie, have some little fun times, and get to know each other as well. It's kind of like a big old celebration of getting to know everyone. So we're going to watch movie. We're going to watch Diamonds Are For Sims with everyone at the party. It's going to be so much fun. Wait, where is Leroy before? Where's your father? I don't know where his father's at. He may be at the door. Nope, he decided to stay upstairs. And be a hermit. I don't mind that at all. I, I feel ya. I feel ya. I'm in the side. I'm inside all the time, so I feel ya. Host, socialize with the guest. So, Gavin, where you at? Gavin, where? Oh, actually, Meadow can chat with the guest, actually. So, we're gonna go ahead and chat with our own children and actually our stepdaughter. Teach a valuable lesson. Why is everyone getting up? Oh, the movie's starting. Everyone, hush, hush. Everyone, hush, hush. The movie is starting. Why is he dancing? Is he gonna get bit by a vampire? Cause that usually happens all the time. Usually when Sims dance, there's a vampire nearby. But then again, he might be in the mood for dancing. I don't mind at all. Shake a groove thing. Shake a groove thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. But let's go and move right along. Everyone's here having a nice fun time watching Diamonds Are For Sims. We have, L oh, Leroy's still upstairs. I don't mind that. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Jerry. Get to know him. Friendly introduction. Should have probably placed down more stairs. But then again... I don't see the point of it. See the point in it. But can you stop dancing, Gavin? This is not a dancing party. This is a family house party. Thank you. I think your I think your son wants to talk to you about relationship advice. Well, not really relationship advice. Mostly for your um parenting um guidance or your advice. Cause clearly he has four kids. Count them: one, two, three, four. Two sons, two daughters. Oh man. Can you just say stressful enough? I can see why. Ooh, he sounds rather evil. We're gonna do some more. We're gonna ask about your favorite author. We're gonna talk about the movie, actually. I wanna, I wanna. Oh, ooh. A lot of interactions here. No wonder we're not getting things done today. <laughs> I don't. I see. I don't, okay, I don't really care if we're gonna get a goal in this 
for this party. As long as we're having a fun time with our family and our neighbors and our friends, that's all that matters. So I'm going to take a picture of this for the memory books today. Oh no, she had a brain freeze. Oh no. Oh, it seems like everyone's here actually. I'm going to take a picture of this. Right there. Let, let's just take a picture. I don't care if it's perfect. As long as we have good... As good. I'm going to take a picture of that because... Let's just say, um, brain freeze, anyone? Does anyone have a, like, does anyone else have, like, a brain freeze right now? If you're eating ice cream at this point, watching this video, let me know, because I honestly want to know. And, and, like, did you get a brain freeze? I should get, get, in, get going, and thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Okay, see you later, Shelly. See you tomorrow at school. Tomorrow's a Friday, so that means really, really great. So, awesome sauce. So, we're going to go ahead and have Meadow... Go ahead and talk to Sebastian a little bit more. Give him some some family advice, actually, because he definitely needs it, to be honest. Because he's a fam he's a father of four. So we're gonna go ahead and brighten his day. Just tell him everything's gonna be all right with your with your family. It's it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be a successful father in your nice tech guru career. Because he does technically want he doesn't he does want to be that very that nice outgoing person who just wants to be, um. A good father, but also provide a well have a well sustained income to provide for his family technically. So I think that'd be kind of a good thing for him. Okay, so everyone's pretty much leaving right now. The party's almost over, which is fine. But then again, I'm okay with it. Ask about question about the movie plot. What do you think about the? Oh, he has to, be, he has to pee. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, he got a cone. Yeah, I want to actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool looking ice cream cone right there. With some sugars and sprinkles and sugar and spice and everything nice. These are the important ingredients to, the, to create the perfect little girls. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil. Okay, does anyone watch um, the Powerpuff Girls? I used to watch it when I was younger, but now it's on Hulu. Man, I watch it all over again because seriously, Hulu is my best friend. Does anyone have that, that service? Because it's the best thing ever. I honestly think you should probably get it because... I think Hulu is awesome. It's my most favorite like subscription service I gonna go to. I don't have cable anymore. I honestly don't watch TV. All I watch is Netflix and Hulu, and pretty much that's it. And it's my go-to place to watch TV and movies and and uh, just yeah. Just, like, does anyone else watch that stuff? I really want to know. So we're gonna go ahead and actually not try for another baby because if we do, I'm gonna literally pull out my own hair because I don't have time for that. I don't care about that. Uh, I see, like, if they had another child, I would literally throw a fit. But then again, I'm being like, man, I just want one more child so badly. So badly. I really want one more child. Okay. No, no, okay. Comment down below. Should Meadow and Gavin have, like, at least one more child? Should they have one more child just the, for the sake of it before they actually kind of become elders very soon? Because they actually age up in about, well, Meadow ages up in 15 days. So she can technically have another child. But Gavin ages up in 10 days, which is going to be okay with me. But then again, man, it's going to be so weird, like, going to season two. But should they have, like, another child? Should they have another child? Because that will allow me to, like, play this game more longer. But then again, I want to end the season so badly very soon. So let's go ahead and actually repair this computer real quick. Oh, yeah. So I had actually have Gavin. I had Gavin go ahead and repair. No, not really repair, technically. I had him go ahead and actually work on his charisma skill. So he's now allowed to basically upload a viral video to his social media, allowing him to basically, I don't know, like get more followers that way. So I'm going to have him go ahead and stop doing some DJing skills for a little bit and have him go and go back inside and upload a viral video to the internet for everyone to see because this will be a viral video one day. Hopefully. I hope so. And I'm going to put, put his mood up. There we go. Oh, you saw nothing. But yeah, tip of the day. So if you didn't know, if you have level 10 in the charisma skill, you will basically allow, you're allowed to upload a viral video if you don't have the social media career or the social media. Yeah, if you're not in the social media career or not. So besides, well, Gavin is in the social media career, but Meadow is not, but she does have level 10 in the charisma skill and she's still allowed to, she's still allowed to upload a viral video no matter what she has. Oh my gosh, everyone wants to play with the stinking clay. I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to have you go ahead. Do you have a book that you can actually resume writing? Or do you have a book in your inventory that we can sell? Oh, yeah. We're going to re resume writing this. So the party is over pretty much right now. 
I'm gonna have the kiddos go ahead and clean up. The party is right now, it's five, um, five in the morning. Doesn't sound so good. We're gonna throw this away right now. For, yeah, you can, you can grab your ice cream cone right now. But I'm gonna have you go ahead and throw this away. Actually, no, you can grab a cone for yourself, Olivia. Since Chandler got one, you can get one too. So I think it's time for us to go ahead and have Meadow. She's in the potty. Let's have her go and clean up this mess for the potty. She feels rather focused from mm, mind askewed. Nice to know. Oh, mind askewed from now she's dazed. Meadow Rose can't keep herself can't can't keep her mood straight. She's dazed for days. Days for days, anyone? Days for days? Mm, I don't know. I like words. I like puns. I like silly, 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 silly puns. But yeah, the kids have their ice cream cones about to go to school in the morning. Well, in a few hours, actually. And I need to have you go ahead and probably work on your aspiration a little bit more. Just so you can be creatively gifted, actually. So we can probably do that. I like that. Look at them. Look at them in their little ice cream cones. They look so cool. Can't wait for them to actually age up in into teenagers. Because I'll get to see what they look like, actually. So I'm going to take a picture of them real quick. There we go. Ah, nice. I love them. I love them. To I love them to pieces. Okay, so, um, Meadow, she is kind of standing patiently towards her son. I was like, are they stuck? Are they stuck? I don't know. I don't mind them at all. So, the kids are almost done with their ice cream cone, which I'm fine with. They're chatting with their brother. It's kind of cool that he kind of stayed behind and just kind of just talked to his family a little bit more and see if they get to know them. Because I know that he left when they were around, like, toddler age and they, didn't, they really didn't connect as much. But now they like he's he's still here and he's like kind of around, but still he's still a father. He's still he's technically still a father right now, but he does care for his siblings and does care about his family. So he does want to he wanted to stay behind and kind of just get get to know them a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and actually sell to the Literary Digest to the Twilight Boulevard. This is like a good book to read. The Twilight Boulevard. Does anyone love that book? I do. So he has made a poetic wait. Profilic writer, um, while every book is different, the joy of finishing a good one is always welcome. So we're gonna have we're gonna have Gavin work from home today. So it says for his for his goals, it says chat chat about work twice with, with coworkers. Who are your coworkers? I don't know. Writing a day with co with coworkers twice. Okay, who are your coworkers? I don't know. Maybe actually maybe Penny Pizzazz is. I guess we can go and chat with Penny Bazass. I think we can. So we're gonna go and, and chat with her for a little bit too. I'm not really sure who your coworkers are, but household, friends, or romantic and clubs. I'm not really sure who is part of your job right now, but I guess it's okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I need to read. Run, run any of the following interactions: gossip about romance, awesome gossip, make fun of. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay. Well, where's Meadow then? Meadow is asleep. Well, maybe we can chat with her about co-workers then? Maybe that will work that way, but I'm not really sure if it does. She works in two days, so we'll have enough time for her to work on her books and her skills and her relationship with Gavin and also boost up Sebastian's level. So we need to mentor our kid, one of our kids three times, have a child complete aspiration. So I will probably have in season two have Chandler or Olivia achieve level or well, achieve their aspiration in the next coming hearts so he is about to go to school in about a few more minutes about 11 minutes right now he did do his his uh resume this actually we're going to resume our painting of the day olivia you're rather sleepy as well but you we can have you see what what, what can you do we can practice we're gonna have you practice typing on the computer let's see this yeah practice typing so you can get your motor skill up there yes Oh, look at that. Hey, Meadow Rose, let's go to experience a unique culture that the city provides. I hear there's an opera tonight at the around 8. Want to go? Sure, why not? Apparently, this... Okay, I don't get why. I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but somehow that stuff doesn't work at all. Like, whenever you get a, a notification on your phone, your sim says, Oh, hey, you want to go to the opera or like there's some type of club, uh, like underground club or whatever. But somehow it never works. I just don't understand at all. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch or it just, I don't, I really don't know. So let's go ahead and talk to Meadow real quick and actually ask her about office gossip. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and see what we can actually do. Let's see. Do, 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 Discuss interest actually real quick. And then we need to go ahead 
Okay, let me read this one more time. So it says, run any of the following interactions, gossip about office, romance, make fun of coke, uh, brag about job title, offer job career advice. Okay, well, I guess we can do some funny interactions, actually. So let's do that. Oh, wait, we don't. Oh, Ch chat about work twice. Oh, work, actually. So let's see. Any work-related interactions we can actually talk about? I don't think there really is. Well, we can gossip, but not really gossip about our co-workers, technically. So there's nothing for us to actually talk about. That's weird. That's really, really weird. We are not trying for me again, because if we do, I will literally throw my... Just, let's not get a divorce. <laughs> that's not... That's something I don't want at all. So I guess we can go ahead and um, ask about day. I think that'll be fine. And then we can probably head out with them, too, because they he's working from home. Be like, just be clear right in day of co-workers twice so maybe i probably had him probably gone to work by himself but then again i'm like thinking i wanted him to work from home so it's gonna have him go ahead and water everything in the meadow we'll have you go ahead and tend your garden as well well first you can you can probably harvest everything and have gavin do all the hard manual labor so olivia should be oh she's no um lady you should go to school uh, mental mind, oh, can't keep her mood straight. And then the other one's just like, she's dazed. Leave me alone, Phoebe. Phoebe, you're so weird. But yeah, they have a B level in their schooling right now, which is, I'm so glad they do. So we're going to have them go ahead and make some friends, some more friends after school. And then Meadow and Gavin are currently working on their garden. So I will pick up back actually in a little bit when the kiddos are back at home. And we will see, I will see you over there actually yeah i will see you in a second okay guys so we have all the kiddos and everyone back at the house so today i was thinking you know what gavin is working on his djing mixing skills i thought you know what i thought i allowed him to go ahead and practice his skills a little bit more he achieved level five actually so it was a lot i allowed him to work on his machine mixing his beatboxing his his other skills are whatever you want to call it from get together so yeah so basically i has been working for him rather well so i thought maybe in the, later in the long run he can go to other clubs and kind of work on his djing skill a little bit more and maybe he can get some djing gigs every once in a while so that, that would be really really good for him whenever he gets older so he has like 10 days until he ages up anyway the spice festival is in town actually you know what we can go to the Spice Festival, actually. That'd be kind of a cool thing to go to, but I might actually do it in the next part, to be honest, because I want to go to the Spice Festival in in this LP, and I haven't gone to it in a while, so I thought, you know, better yet, just kind of do it in the next part, just to be safe and have it just start there. But first, let's go ahead and actually upload our first, our next viral video and see how many followers we actually get. Ooh, maybe at the Spice Festival or, like, some other stuff we, or other festivals or, like, the flea market or whatever we can have metal go and sell her paintings over there that'd be really really cool okay um especially let me alone let me alone thank you so meadow actually finished another book so we need to have her go ahead and not eat the food we'll have her go ahead and go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll have her sell a book to the literary literary digest over here. Ooh, we have a lot of books to sell <laughs> oh my goodness it's a lot maybe it's a confident book Fantasy book. I'm not really sure why we can do that. We're going to go and sell that one, our biography, and then publish it. Um, publish that one, and then we'll publish this next one, too. Yeah. I'm not really sure why we can't do the other ones. Maybe, oh, maybe because we already own them, we already written them, and we already kind of, well, sold them to the people. So how many followers will you get this time? Oh, upload a viral video. So... He says, I'm a DJ, playing DJ. Your sim can listen, spin, and scratch beats with those cool head headphones and dance steps. Your sim looks right at home. So we gained about 800,000 followers. Now, now we have 3,500,510 followers on our social media, which is so, so cool. Now that he's like kind of in the social media career, it kind of benefits him a little bit better. And I don't know what was going on with this thing right here. I wasn't able to get interactions with Meadow. I, I guess because we're not really in, she's not really one of our co-workers and doesn't really work with her. So let me see if I can actually still discuss about work with her. But I might, I might actually have to talk to Penny Bazaar. So I think I will probably head over to her house in a second. But I do want to see, because I, I think 
with me knowing Penny Bazazz will go hand in hand with our career and her career and kind of we can collab better. So it'll be a lot easier for us. So I guess we'll have Gavin go ahead and get himself dressed. So we'll change his outfit into the first outfit right here. And then we'll have him head over to Penny's apartment and see what she's up to and kind of get to know her a little bit better too. Because I think that'll be kind of good for us and Gavin and you know, you know the drill. Getting to know another social media person is always beneficial. Like, am I right or am I right? So let's go ahead and have him head over to Sam Myshuno. And we'll head over to Penny Pizzazz's lovely, lovely, shabby, chic apartment. I think she lives in this one. Yeah, she does. Right here. Okay, so here we are to Penny Pizzazz's apartment. Here's Penny in the hallway. Taking out the trash, taking out the garbage. We're going to go ahead and actually brighten her day real quick. She just left a nice affirming note. We're going to read the note actually real quick. Why did he go down there? I don't understand. Sebastian, leave me alone. Even though you're my son, I leave me alone. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Man, that's a small hallway. Where's he at? Where's Gavin? Okay, where? Gavin, come on. Get up here, please. Man, he is literally walking to Timbuktu. Like, come on. So Penny is right here. We need to get to know her a little better. So your your cooking smells amazing. We look forward for the to the day when we we can taste it, which will be never. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and discuss work. So I guess when it when it comes to discussing work with other social media people, oh well, discussing people, well, dis discussing work with people in your work field only works with people in your work field. I don't know. I guess that's only it has how it only works. So I guess we want to talk to Penny Pizzazz because I know her a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and see, discuss work. We did that already. I want to go and gossip about co-workers because co-workers are always hilarious when it comes to social media. So much funny. And we're going to go ahead and let's see. Wait, does that really count as one of our things? Okay, it does. Good. Good enough for me. We're going to go and gossip about neighbors again and then brighten the day of a co-worker again. So that'd be kind of good. So we're going to go ahead and ask about her day. And I wonder if we can go into our apartment right now, even though we are technically kind of here already. But then again, I don't know. Okay, it worked. Good. So let's see. Sebastian, leave me alone. My goodness. This child is needy. Needy for days. Like, come on. So let's go ahead and brighten her day. So hopefully in the next part or so, we will be able to get a promotion. Not really sure. Let's go and knock on her door. Will Penny come back out? She won't. She won't come back out. Yep. Let's go and knock on her door. Yes. Oh, there we go. Come right in. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm here. I wonder how many social media followers she has. If she has less than us, then by golly gee, we are the most popular person in the sand mice, you know, for days. I think we should move this. I think whenever Meadow... I will probably whenever Meadow and Sebastian get older, I feel like they should move to San Mashuno just because it'll be easier for them. It's going to live in the city life because Sebastian's, well, I mean, Gavin is in the social media career as a public relations coordinator. And Meadow's kind of in the writing career, becoming very successful. So I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of cool for her to be in that kind of, in that type of atmosphere. So we're going to go ahead and ask, but, well, no, we can go ahead and ask for a large loan, see if she'll give it to us. Since she's all very high fashion and high up there. Like, will she give us a loan? Will you, is that a yes? Will you give me a loan, Penny? I know we're, I know we're kind of, will you say yes? But yes? You're going to give me money? Yes? Oh, yes, the P. Oh, well, no, I'm going to move, I'm going to move that, boost that up. Wait, wait, was she going to give me money though? Oh, no, that's not good. Well, <laughs> I guess we can go in and ask for a large loan again, just to be on the safe side. Hopefully she will give it to us. If she doesn't, then I'm going to be very, very, very upset. Well, not really upset. Well, let's see. Can we brighten her day again? Oh, Snatch's like, excuse me? You think I'm made of money? You must be crazy. So bye, bye, and bye. Let's go and compliment her outfit, see if that actually kind of works. It's like, do you think I give money to llamas? No. So what do you think I'm going to give money for you? Like, you're crazy. Oh, man, where's that Brighton Day interaction? I missed it again. I guess we can share photos. I guess we can go ahead and actually go ahead and... Um, we can probably not call him fake sick. That doesn't sound like a good, reasonable thing to do. 
Let's take a photo with her. That'd be kind of good. Take a photo with Penny. Wait, Rebecca's here? How's Re how's Rebecca here? Where's Rebecca at? Hmm. Okay. Well, good enough for me, so I think I'm going to probably... Oh, right here. Let's wrap up the day with the achieving all of our goals today, right? Am I right? Okay. So we achieved it again. So I'm actually going to wrap up this part right here. So I hope you guys as much enjoyed today's part as much as I did. Let me know what you guys did down in the comments below. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!